Hi everyone, it's Muriel and welcome back to my channel. I have returned from my weekend retreat and I wanted to come on this evening and share with you some of the things that I made. I did post them and I tried to do as much video recording as I could, but the Wi-Fi at this location was so bad. Um, and I think when we all got there, we were all hooking up our phones and putting, you know, getting their laptop ready and everybody was watching Netflix. And so it was just so slow. So then I got up early the next morning and tried to do something and it was a little better, but not as good as it is when you're in your comfort of your own home. So um, I'm just going to show you a few things that I made because I really need to get to packing them up. But I had um, a situation when I got back home Sunday night had this beautiful weekend, lots of food, lots of uh, friendships. And um, on my way home, I picked up something in my tire, right? So by the time I pulled into my um, parking space, uh, I could hear it hissing and it went flat. So I had a, you know, couldn't use the car on Sunday. I had to uh, make arrangements for a tow truck um, this morning. Uh, they came around five o'clock, picked it up, took it to the nearest uh, place where I get my tires done. And I went ahead and just got four new ones because I, I wasn't playing around. So now everything is back. I'm feeling good. I still haven't unpacked, but I did bring up the things I made and I wanted to share them with you. So before I left on my uh, trip on Friday, I was running errands. I had blood drawn. I went to get my car service and then I stopped by Joanne's. And they had these paper pads. They were $2.50. I almost pee my pants. You know, every year I make bows. And I think you get two sheets per each. And um, the red and green ones always go. Because that's what people associate Christmas with. Um, even though you and I can do pink and purple for Christmas, right? So, um, really nice quality paper. This is the Park Lane. And it's called Seasons Greetings, 36 sheets, 80 pounds. That's why it feels so good. So um, I'm going to be making, uh, I know, two things of bows. So that'll be a total of 70 bows. And that's all I'll probably make because I have some other things in mind. But look how beautiful all of this. Look at this. It's fa la la. Look at those reindeers. I mean, yeah, beautiful. Um. And I took the last two. They had another brand with another kind of color, tan and brown, but didn't want that. Just wanted some green and red. So I'm so happy. So come Christmas in July, this is one thing I know I'll be making. So just, oh, wait, goodness, I'm still not finished. Some cute cut apart tags, which are very, very nice. So there we go. So I did get two of those. Again, they were $2.50. And um, you guys saw these M&M treat pouches that I made. Um, I gave them to the ladies at the retreat. They were so elated, so excited. So um, I think there's one more I have. Oh, yes, it has uh, peanuts in it. So I'm just going to use this to take to uh, folks at the job. And I'll probably start taking stuff in tomorrow. Um, I didn't do treat bags after this because I did buy another bag of M&M's. But I made these cute little candy boxes. I saw a tutorial online. This is made with the um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, candy punch board. Uh, the other side would be the same, but you cut it a different, you kind of cut some of it off and then you just fold it like a box. I thought it was adorable. And um, I used um, a friend's die to cut it out. And then I used some of that Michael's uh, paper that's in their paper collection. Uh, as acetate and then just decorate it. So I made several of these. Then I took the um, candy box from Dollar Tree. This is the Russell Stouffer's candy box that they have now. And I made a belly band. First, I wrapped it in this, um, what is this called? Parchment paper. And I was saying how I was struggling because tape wouldn't make it stick. Scotch tape wouldn't make it stick. Hot glue wouldn't stick. The only thing that stuck was the uh, Barely Arts glue. 
a wet glue. So um, I went ahead and got it on there. These come in strips. They're by Celebrate parchment paper. So then I took some more of that paper from that acetate paper in the collection from Michaels, made this belly band, just used a ephemera piece, a heart cut out from last year, this chipboard piece, flower, and some foam, a foam heart, and made the, um, oh, and then I stapled it on both sides. So you can see how it's stapled there and stapled there. So, so I made uh, four of those because I only bought four of the boxes, but I just didn't want to put it in there, just the candy box like that. So, so there's this one. I made this one here. This was gifted to me from um, someone who made it last year. It may have been Crystal, not sure, but that's really cute how she did it. And I have some of these tags and she just folded over some of the ruffled paper and a couple of hearts and foam hearts and a sentiment, adorable. And then this one here, I even had this bow, uh, this uh, flower in my stash. I took the center off and then put this on the inside because the center was really uh, wound up tight and hard and just didn't look good. Then I added some uh, glitter to the bow. Again, another heart, a wooden chipboard piece. And then I had some of this, uh, what is this called? It's like a tool kind of um, laying around in my stash. And I just layered it underneath all this. And then this is just a uh, sticker of a macaroon that I put on some foam and popped it up. So that was the third one. And then the last one is here. Again, uh, the heart. I have those wooden hearts. Another ticket. The foam heart. This cute little thing. I bought this recently at... Either Michael's or Hobby Lot. One of the stores I went in there and I grabbed that. It's like a cute little letter. And another flower. And this is all just layered on a tag. And you can see the tag is, uh, that's the top, that's the bottom of the tag. So really, really simple. And then, um, what else did I make? And I've already showed you all of those things. Oh, I made some of the bottle cap, bottle cap. Oh my God. I know what the name of it is scrap divas die i don't have it up here but it is the bottle pocket tag i think so um this is a bottle of martinelli's and it just goes over fits perfectly and i've had these swans in my stash forever and this is uh probably uh either ks crafts or scrap diva not sure so i created the tag pocket and um, I'm using uh, pink paper on the back, and then I used uh, some heart paper here on the front. Layered it. In between is some red foam, just to pop it up. And then there's a little envelope. This candy was at the retreat. Uh, someone bought a bag full of it, so I helped myself to some to put inside of these little tag pockets. And I'm going to be gifting these to some friends. Adorable idea, Erica. This is a fabulous idea. I love this. I'm going to use these for New Year's. I'm going to make things for people's birthday. Um, I'm just going to go all out with it because it is such a cute idea. So I made several of these as well. And then lastly, I want to show you um, one of the banners that I made. I made three. Uh well, I cut out four, but I can't find the L to the fourth one. So once I get everything situated, I'll make that one. But um, let's see here. I saw this um, tutorial over on Shara Crane's channel on how she cut out these uh, banners. So I have two that are fishtail and then two that are just triangle. I cut the letters out of my Cricut machine. I think it's a four inch, I'm not sure. Um, and then popped it up on some foam. Um, I did some stitching. I actually stitched the ribbon underneath because this is just folded over this banner. Stitch it underneath and I laid a doily throughout. Here is just a cut apart, a rosette from my stash, the word cute, a sticker says love, and then these cute lips. For the O, I just have a flower, 
Underneath is a uh, heart of ephemera piece. Oh, here's a flower that I created a long time ago. I put some pom-pom trim on the sides and then the sentiment said hugs and kisses. Then for the V, I have this flower here, two pom-poms, this cute little record player with a happy face, and then this ephemera piece that says, be mine, and this also has pom-poms. And then for the E, I just have this flower sticker, this chipboard heart, and then this flower here that I put some gold, um, I don't know what it's called, and I don't have it with me, glitter, glitter something <laughs> i just did my thing and put it on there so that's going to be uh one of the banners uh, my daughter wants one to be hung up in her uh, office in her cubicle so we'll see about that so that's all i i have to show right now um i do have you know three of these and um a couple more of these but i just wanted to show you just an idea of what i created i wanted to make and i'm still going to make some um wire wrap beads but i ended up bringing the wrong size head pin the head pins i bought weren't big enough so the bead would just pop right through so i'm so disappointed because i had so much time where i could have just rolled you know just went to town on them so that's okay i'm still ahead of the game but i did want to get some of those out to share with some friends and family so thank you guys for watching thank you for your support i'm looking forward to creating some more i do need to make more cards so there's lots i mean you can just go on and on and then one more thing i'm sorry i packaged up some more pins i made four more actually i made six but i gave two to two co-workers that were at the retreat and these um beads i bought last year from an estate sale and this is a christmas bead from uh pack from michael's i don't know if you guys remember these beads let's see if we can pull them out you remember michael's had these a couple of years ago um there were lots of them so i've been using these especially the white and the red and um that's this is a bigger size but it's still um it's from one of the other packs and this one doesn't have a charm on it because I'm finding that depending on the size of your bead, I really don't have enough space on top to put that uh, dangle piece to hang something. So nonetheless, it's still adorable. Those ladies absolutely love them. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And until my next video, you guys have a great day. Bye now.